USA, USA. One, one thing I saw your post uh, was about the warning sign. Oh yes, the warning sign. I'll, I'll, I'll put that in the, the video <coughs> somehow. And um, so, so I have it on my Insta so I can read a little bit of it. Yeah, they were, I only took the picture at Disneyland, but they were actually, Rachel was noticing them all over, all over um, California, everywhere we went. Disneyland had one, Universal Studios had one. Uh, yeah, pretty much every, even down near Venice Beach, I think they had one. Here it is here. It said, warning, entering this area can expose you to chemicals known to the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects or other reproductive harm, including carbon monoxide and gasoline or diesel engine exhaust from vehicles exhaust systems. For more information, go to such and such warnings, CA, .gov, whatever. Yeah, so now they've got all these signs everywhere. You can show the sign that is put up the... I guess so you can't sue them if you have a fucking problem. Yeah, so were they just randomly on the street or whenever you're in, in a, in a um, you know, like a park or somewhere like that? Yeah, you're just like out of the blue. You just see one like in amusement areas or, yeah, just out different areas. I guess they're trying to cover their ass now by saying there's shit everywhere in the air and the chemicals around it. You can, they can cause harm or if you have a baby that's fucking retarded, they're not going to take responsibility. <laughs> so yeah, just in case you said, um, um, I live in California, I went uh -huh. to Disneyland once. Mm -hmm. you're, baby... spraying, you're spraying the fucking plants for pests and... No, I was going to say, my, my, um, something happened to my baby from carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> it wouldn't be the, um, mm -hmm. um, how many million cars are there in California? Mm -hmm. but... it, it would it be from that one day you went to Disneyland. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was perfectly fine till then. I live in China, you know, <laughs> that one day in Disneyland, that fucked me up. Yeah. Um, oh, Mickey Mouse's car um, was spewing out. Oh, but it's stupid, because you got that sign there, but even here now, how many times do you see it around in Newcastle, they've got signs even around pubs and clubs, slow down, such and such, because people are intoxicated or drinking, so you've got to slow down for them. Around schools, like around schools, I understand if it's like a daycare, you know, like the daycare yeah. ones where kids still don't have their faculties or yeah, yeah, even yeah. the little primary schools where they're still around the age of five or six and then they think they might go, oh, there's mum, and yeah. they go running out. But from a high school on, even colleges or those unis, why well, we've got 40 zones. Even when they have, like, the teachers go back to school day and the kids aren't even at school, you've got to do 40. I'm sorry, if you're over the age of 13... You and you can't cross the fucking road, and you're a teacher, and you can't cross the road. If you can't look both ways and cross a road, you deserve to get fucking hit by a car because you're an idiot. So yeah, but it's just, then um, well, I saw it yesterday. You know, I was driving with Rachel. We're going down the road. This person's walking this way with their phone, and like the crossing's there, so they're just walking, and then they just do the old turn out. Not even put their head up to see the car's going to yeah, stop. Yeah. You know, that's it. Even if there's a crossing there, I always stop and look left and yeah. right to make sure the car sees me. It's like, okay, there's a crossing, I have the right to cross, but that yeah. doesn't mean this person saw me, or sometimes too, if you're walking really quick or jogging or you're riding the bike like they do, you think, because they're moving so fast, they're going straight ahead, and all of a sudden they make this quick turn to the right and go straight out on the crossing, so, ridiculous. Oh, I couldn't agree more. Um, and you yeah, see that's lights too, which they like, don't walk. Don't walk, and off they go walk. And not only do they walk, they fucking dawdle. Or somebody will be jaywalking, and they just step off the medium strip. They see you coming, and they keep walking as you're coming. Yeah. Sometimes your mirror just misses them. It's like, what are you doing? Then they give you a dirty look like you're the person in the wrong. Well, in the city, I think they've even put um, lights on the ground, mm -hmm. like red lights, because um, especially around... Oh, uh, so people looking down so Yeah, much, yeah well, they're always on their phone and... Um, they should just start giving tickets to them. I know they're well, trying they to start... I think in Queensland now, they're trying to start that if you're caught on your phone driving, when they pull you over, they're taking your keys off you straight away for 24 hours. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, it should be, because I see it all the time on driving. You can yeah. always see a car moving or... You'll be looking at someone, you just see the head down, they're doing this. You know, they're texting on their phone. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I don't get what's that important to people. They can't wait till they get to where they're going. Well, the majority of cars, if you do need to get a message quickly, have Bluetooth. Call the person, talk to them while you're yeah. driving. You know, so it's... 
just crazy. They're always got to be. I mean, the dumbest thing is ever when you're driving along, you got to be that busy checking fucking Facebook or Instagram while you're driving. What's that important that you need the fucking? Yeah, because we go back. I always say back in my day, which is true, but we didn't worry about shit like that. There was nothing that was that important. Uh, I was saying on RX the other day. You know, I would be at home in the morning, so I'm going somewhere. I call up, hey Sam, I'm going to the gym now, it's 8 o'clock, I'll be at the gym from this time after the gym, I might be going deep somewhere else, and then I'll be home at yeah. 2. And that was it, you'd leave your messages before you left home, then you'd go do whatever you had to do. And the world still went on, people didn't die, the world didn't get blown up. I and mean, if, if I didn't see you at all, once I got home, I'd go, play. Yeah, yeah. Bye, Lee, this is Sam, sorry I missed you, you check your messages when you get home. I didn't need to know right now, right then, where the fuck Sam, why isn't yeah. Sam here? People need to know what they think they need to know right away, what everyone's doing and what everyone's up to and shit. It's like, you know, just fucking, it's like you get messages on your phone, people want to reply straight away. They might not think that you're at work or you're watching a movie or you're busy doing something because you get those messages, hey, what are you doing? You don't answer it. Then you get, hi, 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 question mark, question mark. Have I upset you or something? It's like, <laughs> it's like fucking hell. It's like... Uh, I don't get it. And then like, then you just get people that call. I said, if you're driving, call the person. Don't text. I said, yeah. just call them. Now, um, you know, I'm sort of going through the stage where my son's 11 and putting the acid on us to get a phone. And yeah. um, We can get those phones where it doesn't have the internet. Look, I'm all for young kids for safety. We can get those phones where could, you can just put in a couple of numbers yeah. for safety. That's what they really need because I don't think young kids, until they're like 14, 15, they don't need the internet or social media on their phones. They just need the phone for yeah. emergencies. If something goes wrong, or to let you know where they are, or if they're being held up, if they miss a school bus and stuff like that. Or you can get those phones in the watches that kids wear too. And I think you can put no, three numbers we, in. And, we got him. Is that where you can GPS track them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. one where you can, like, so you got the app on your phone. As long as you've got that watch on, you can see where he is. And Yeah. Yeah, stuff like that. Kids, that, that's what I hate when they say about kids and phones. It's like, young kids under the age of, say, let's say 13, do not need smartphones. Just give yeah. them a normal basic phone that, okay, they can call or maybe text someone. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's it. it. They don't need the internet service and shit like that. It's crazy. No, well, it was funny. It was, I, was, I was talking to his mates, drop, dropping them home from soccer training. And I go, boys, look, why don't you just go to the park after school and, and you know, you can have a game there anytime. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, touch footy. I said, I'll come down and, and play with you. And, and they go, yeah, yeah, we should, we should, um, we'll, we'll send send a text to each other, or or t send a text, you know, get their mums to send texts. And I said, how about this? <laughs> when you're at school, Talk half to an hour other. before you leave, <laughs> what do you just say? We go the park. The, yeah, going to the park. Meet the park at three thirty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like we used to do. Yeah. Okay, I'm going. Like you said, you'll be at school when school's over. As you're walking out of your last class for the day, all right, I'm heading home now. I'm going home to change. I'll meet you down the park yeah. in half an hour, 40 minutes. Yeah. Okay. And that was it. <laughs> or if someone doesn't rock up or something like that, too bad. Or mm -hmm. you can even walk to their house. <laughs> I know. And ask them, hey, you coming down? No. I'll just text them and see where yeah, they are. Just, um, and then the thing is, too, then when they got their shit there, they're not focused on the game sometimes. It's like they'll be kicking the ball, but then they stop and they go over. Let me check my phone. That's like, that's yeah. why I done a big thing the other day and people got mad. I said, really, unless you're a doctor on call, well, at the moment, because I can't train properly, I'll have my phone in the gym because I'm not training properly. But whenever I train for contests, I got ready for shows and serious, I never had my phone. And people say, oh, believe I need it for music. The gym has music. I went throughout music at the gym for eight years at World Gym, there was no music at all. You don't need music, there's just music playing in the background, that's all you need. You don't need your stupid big headphones on to get motivated by music, just go on fucking train. It's like, oh yeah, but I like to have the Bluetooth on and pick my songs, and I said, yeah, you pick your songs, but you can't tell me if you're training away doing a set, let me go change a song, and as you pick up your phone, you go, let me, oh, wait a yeah, minute, yeah, yeah. i got five messages. You can't tell me you're not going to fucking look at those messages and see who they're from and then start replying. And then I said, your whole mindset's out the fucking window. I said, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't see top fighters or tennis players or people on the golf field practicing their sport with their fucking phones on them, texting and in between fucking, let's like say you're doing boxing, in between rounds, you're not going to be on your phone fucking checking Facebook, are you? Yeah, yeah. But these people are like, oh, but what are you meant to do in between sets? I said, either help your training partner or think about your next fucking set. Don't yeah. have your mind on Facebook or shit or you might get into an argument with someone and your whole fucking mindset for yeah. training's out the window. Or you might even have a business of some sort and just say, 
that hour and a half you go to the gym or an hour that's your alone time you don't want to be have your phone on you and go okay I'm training hard so you go in early at six but you start work at nine then you pick up your phone and you go oh fuck I just got an email for oh fuck it hell you didn't get yeah. that order fuck now your whole workout's fucked up because you're worrying about business and work and someone hasn't got their order or a bill hasn't been paid it's like fuck it just do your training and then fucking worry about the rest of the world after that but people get so mad because they want to have their phone in the gym I was there yesterday waiting for Matthew to come to do legs so I figured I'd go there 15 minutes early and just warm up my knees I was going to warm up my knees go do some leg extensions this guy's on the machine for about the 15 minutes I was waiting so I just did a little bit of exercise bike he did like two sets the rest of the time he just sat there on the fucking leg extension doing this I'm like fuck off I was like, so, just stupid then he posted it, killed it. Probably. <laughs> Good workout. <laughs> yeah, look, um, I always tell people my advice is, look, I, I, I have my, um, my I, I, I get sort of best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. I, um, I have my phone, but I only use it as a heart rate monitor. Mm -hmm. And the only reason why I do that is, look, I don't train with anyone. And then at the end of the workout, I know if I've, if I've worked hard enough, but mm -hmm. never, ever, ever look at stuff between sets. Yeah. Always just do another exercise, mm -hmm. like a light one between but sets. But even when I'm at home, it's like all my phone here. A lot of people get mad if they call because, I, like I said, I'll check it when I want to check it. Or every notification on my phone's turned off. I don't hear nothing. So, you know, maybe in like three hours, I'll pick it up and look at it. Or if I'm watching the TV, if I might wait another hour, I'll just check and see if anyone's called. But People have their phone, every notification is turned on. I've got friends that do it, they'll have their phone there, a notification goes off, they put it back down. Yeah, yeah, notification goes off. Oh, like, yeah. It's like pretty much, really, when you look at people, their phone really is running their lives because they can't go without it. They're always got to look who's calling, they've got to look who's texting or hold on to somebody else. Like on the notifications on Instagram and Facebook, if someone likes a picture, it comes up every time. So, like, oh, who liked that one? Oh, yeah, who liked that one? And I was like, fucking hell, you, do you really need to know that? It's like, well, I'm, um, uh, um, this is another topic. For I'm sure Sylvester's probably just turned his notifications <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Jesus. No, no, this, this will be another topic for Conspiracy Corner, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, I think even Facebook has admitted that, uh, you know, the whole system's set up to get you addicted. Oh, yeah. And the addiction process is the notification, short hit of um, um, dopamine or whatever you get mm -hmm. from, from checking it. And, uh, See, I don't get that. I, I've never really been into that because I don't even... No, I know it was Instagram now stopped the likes. Only you can see them. But I never really looked at them before anyway. So oh, really? See, yeah. So I can see them if I click on the photo. I think it says I can still see the likes. But... I can't see the likes on the other pictures or you can't see how many yeah. likes I've got. I'm thinking, who the hell worries about that type of shit? But they reckon all people get upset if they don't get enough likes and this. I'm like, really? That's like, yeah. fucking hell. And we become that. I've always said, I said it before, they call them smartphones, but they're making us dumber. They're making yeah. us like not communicate properly with people in person or fucking talk to people. And everyone's always just in there. Look at when you just go to a city now. Just walk around the city. Everyone's got their phone in their hand, looking at their phone. People are sitting down having lunch, everyone's got their phone in their hand. You go to a bus stop or a train station, every person. Yeah. And it's like this, I'm like, what the fuck is so important that you just can't, you know, look out the window and stuff. I was saying that the other day, even when you go driving before in a car, you talk or play games, stupid I spy or something, or just look out the fucking window mm. and enjoy the scenery going by. But now, everyone, yeah. like, if someone's driving a car to passenger, you can guarantee he's on their phone. <laughs> like this. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're not even talking anymore. So. No, no, I find it funny, like, and this is not to get into politics, but, um, you know, how everyone's in America is getting their p panties in and not about, you know, the, you know, who's getting in and whatever. Oh, yeah. All the while, they're slowly being controlled mm -hmm. and manipulated by, um, you know, these big tech companies. They're, they're, they've literally... Um, taken you know google's taken their pro google facebook oh, takes their privacy information and that uh, they had a thing on the radio yesterday someone was asking about you know when you talk around your phone a lot and then you get ads for it someone goes no no facebook and them have said they, they don't listen in. <laughs> don't listen in i said oh that's got to be true oh well i said what a load of shit i said 
I think they even had a TV show once where they just picked a topic like say they've never discussed it before but every time they're around their phone and that they'd be like let's go to yeah. Disneyland love to go to Disneyland every for a day that's what I mentioned was Disneyland then all of a sudden they started getting messages Disneyland holidays Disneyland flights flights to America and Disneyland packages in their emails and this guy's saying no 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 what they've said it is is, is that we're just more aware of it now so let's just say you and I are talking about going on a trip to Disneyland yeah. and then that just by fluke that same day I get an email about a holiday in Disneyland that you think oh they're listening in they've sent me that I'm like I want a load of shit because there's things you can talk about or say you google something one day why yeah. is that if you google a topic or google something like I say you google Ferrari or a car like that yeah. all of a sudden on Instagram and Facebook you start getting advertisements yeah, yeah, yeah. for what you just googled so no no well, it's funny you say that just the um, um the other night when we were um turned on Netflix, a thing came up about um, the, the exact topic about, you know, it's about um, big tech companies. But Was it that new TV show on there? No, no, no. It's, it's, I think it's like a documentary, but it's oh, yeah, specifically that, yeah, it's called, mentioned um, that something net, uh, hacked or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, I haven't watched it, but I saw the preview for it, yeah. But it did say, oh, yeah. have you been talking about something and then got mm -hmm. a, an advert? And it's got some it. woman who's an insider who's going to spill the beans yeah. on stuff, yeah. Yeah, no, I just think... Um, I'm going to watch that one. I saw it there. It's almost two hours long, though, but it's all on you know, all the information, how they take in the privacy and information, and there's like... And they say every person in America at least has 50 or so many things on them that these companies have on them. That, yeah. yeah. No, I think, um, um, you know, people are so worried about the, you know, this politics thing that... Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think they talked about that, too, on the preview, didn't they? The thing with... Trump and the campaign. Who's that company that um Cambridge? Yeah, um, and they got, uh, yeah Analytica. Or yeah, something. yeah. They, they mentioned that on there too. Yes, yeah, so all the information. Yeah. yeah, no, I think you know, uh, you know, it's it's, it's going to be a big battle to win uh -huh. back our well, children. Yeah, well, it's funny because I have the one here. I put it on here because Rachel won that one. They got the app one. You can get sometimes discounts. Yeah, this is how funny it is because it must work off like you know where you are type thing the gps thing because the days like i'd never go to mcdonald's I'd never get anything i can guarantee you if which i go into, yeah which is <laughs> rare but i never get anything but when i go to mcdonald's for breakfast i can guarantee within 10 five minutes i've got an email from mcdonald's telling me about an up and coming sale or yeah thing coming up but any other day i don't go there i never get the emails from mcdonald's or yeah you know tomorrow's going to be big mac day and all this sort of stuff with your app but every time I'm in there, I email yeah. McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it's uh, it's scary stuff. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how to... Uh, to I look back in the days when we used to laugh at phone watches and all the stuff in the TV shows. Yeah. And then if you just go back maybe 10 years or 15 years, some of the stuff we saw in sci-fi movies, we used to laugh at going, <laughs> look at that shit. It's almost like them saying, hey, we've already got this, it's coming, so get used to it. And yeah. then they're talking about, that a thing on TV not long ago about, almost like the Terminator where machines are going to start running stuff and doing this and yeah. doing that. And look, now you've got driverless trains already down here in Sydney and different stuff, so it won't be long. Yeah. But, uh... Pretty much computers run everything now. Look at, I think there was a... Uh, was that up in Newcastle or somewhere not long ago the power went down or something went down and no one could do anything like you know yeah. in the stores people had to leave the stores because they're talking about you know how we're going to this cashless society if people only have cards and shit they can't buy anything yeah. once the computers or electricity goes down computers don't work so you're you're pretty much stuck yeah so if there was like a major blackout or we lost power for more than a week or days oh people would be fucked you just couldn't couldn't do anything mate if the power was out for a week, um, <laughs> it'd be chaos, anarchy. It would be. We'd start eating they're, each they're other. They're saying if you had cash, you could still do stuff. But even then, you go into a store now. If you gave someone cash, they wouldn't be able to add up and give, <laughs> give yeah. you change. It's like they're like, oh, well, I don't know. It's like well, I can't do that. So yeah, it's becoming crazy. That, I think if they make it a cashless society, then they just have more control again. So it'll be crazy. Well, it's part of the plan. Uh huh. You go somewhere now, there's no power, you can't get petrol if you don't have cash or anything. It's like, you know, yeah. 
couldn't go to, like I said, I know I've seen one shopping centre once when the power went out for even, I think it was only 20 minutes, but everyone had to leave the stores and just wait for the power to come back mm-hmm. on because you couldn't buy anything, yeah. you couldn't do anything. Not like the old days, you could push the buttons on the register or remember the old credit card one, you put your card in and slide oh, it. I still got one of them. Yeah, yeah, and you can fill it out. Yeah, it's like, they wouldn't even know what they were these days. Yeah. They're still, still good, you could still use them, but people wouldn't know what to do with them mm-hmm. now. No, it's crazy. Like you said, it's all about control.